I'm Jane Lunnan. I'm with the Ashe County Arts Council, and I've got another update on the arts in Ashe. September is here, and gosh, we've got a busy, busy month full of great arts activities in Ashe County you're going to want to make note of and take advantage of. We're going to start out with some touring and traveling around in Ashe County. We're bringing back the Arts Council's Barn Quilt Tours. Now, any time of the year, you can do a self-guided tour. We've got six loops available. Uh, the maps and directions are downloadable from our website, or you can stop by and pick up a copy. Um, and, and you can go into six different geographic sections of Ashe County to see great barn quilts. But we've put together a special two-hour packaged tour for you that you don't have to drive. We'll put you on a bus. We'll start, uh, start and leave in, from the Ash Art Center, 10 a.m. First one is on September 5th. The second one is on October 10th. Reservations are required for that, and there's a $15 charge per person. You'll see history, you'll see scenic beauty, you'll see barn quilts all along the way, and you'll hear some great stories about Ashe County. Barn quilt tours September 5th and October 10th. Reservations are needed for that. We're going to talk about visual arts, and we've got a great exhibit still in the Gallery of the Arts Center, and that's Art Mix. You don't want to miss it. It will be up through September 5th. Starting uh, September 8th, in other words, this is a companion exhibit for the Arts Council's Literary Festival, and this will feature the works of two dozen artists. Their challenge was to create a new work of art, either painting, photography, or fiber, or sculpture, that was reflective of a book title, an existing literary work, and a new piece of visual art has been created just for this exhibit. In other words, the opening reception for that will be on Friday, September 11th, from 5 until 8, in conjunction with the Second Friday Gallery Crawls. Along with the Arts Council's exhibit, in other words, there'll be 17 galleries and craft shops open in downtown West Jefferson. Great chance to meet the artist, to see new work, to cruise on foot, and to really enjoy the artsy scene in West Jefferson's Arts District. The Best of the Blue Ridge Juried Art Show is another visual opportunity uh, for the painters that are in the High Country region. This exhibit is open to artists in Ashe, Allegheny, Watauga, Wilkes, Johnson County in Tennessee, and Grayson County in Virginia. It's open for painters of all medians, um, hand-pulled prints, um, mixed media that incorporates any of those other mediums. Um, and, and it's new works that are created. It is juried. The juror this year is Mary Ann Redding. Mary Ann is the curator at the Turchin Center for the Visual Arts, uh, located on the ASU campus in Boone. Uh, the delivery date for uh, Best of the Blue Ridge is October, October 3rd, 5th, and 6th. Folks may enter up to two works. There, there are some size restrictions on, on that, uh, so you'll want to check out the prospectus and all of the information. And there is a $10 entry fee per work. Cheap Joe's Art Stuff is the uh, corporate sponsor for this exhibit again, and we're happy to say that there's $1,000 in merchandise awards coming from Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. Just waiting for the winners. Best in show, first, second, third place, uh, as well as a couple of honorable mentions. Best of the Blue Ridge. The Literary Festival I made uh, mention of, and that's on the same page. This is our eighth annual. Kicks off on Tuesday, September 15th runs through Saturday, September 19th. It's a full week of author visits, uh, readings, questions and answers, some workshops just geared for writers, a lot of great dining events and, and opportunities to enjoy the literary arts. We focus on both reading and writing on the same page. You can check out the information and the full schedule for the Literary Festival on the festival's website on the same page festival.org. Um, along with that is Elliot Engel. Elliot is coming back to Ashe County for a Tuesday night presentation. That's Tuesday, September 15th, 7.30 in the Gallery of the Art Center. His program this year is called The Wizardry of Oz, the storytelling genius of L. Frank Baum. If you've heard Elliot before, you'll know that it's a presentation unlike any other you've heard. Elliot, is, it's a scholarly presentation. Elliot does not pers assume the persona of, of Frank Baum, but instead he tells you everything you could always possibly 
ever want to know about the writings of this man, and especially about the Wizard of Oz. This is a 7.30 program in the Gallery of the Ash Art Center. Tickets are available in advance for that. And to wrap up the, uh, the month, <clears throat> We have Art on the Mountain. This is the annual uh, outdoor arts and crafts show from 9 until 3. It's at the Ash Art Center on our grounds, uh, in front, on the side, across the street, down the street. Uh, we've got about three dozen different local artists and craftsmen uh, that will be sharing their works. Pottery, paintings, photography, rug hooking, quilting, wood turning, jewelry, literary works, and well, lots more. It's a free show, great chance to, to support our local artists and craftsmen and to have a great day in the outdoors uh, of Ashe County. And a reminder to all of the artists that are out there, both visual, uh, performing arts, theater arts, literary arts, the uh, deadline for applying for regional artist project grants is coming up. That will be Friday, September 11th. This is the um, grant program that is sponsored by the Ash County Arts Council, Watauga, Allegheny, and Wilkes Arts Councils, uh, with a pool of money that's available for granting to local artists. The, the intent behind the grant is to help an artist move from one level of proficiency to another. The money is there for you. It's a simple application. If you need more information on that, it's available on the website or you can contact any of your local arts councils for more information. Well, as you can tell, we've got lots going on in the high country and in Ashe County in the arts in September. There's all this information and more on our website, ashcountyarts.org. Give us a call, 336-846-2787, or better yet, come on over to West Jefferson, come visit Ashe County, and enjoy an art-filled day.